Hello again and welcome to another vlog with John, this time on the road with Tour Radar and Cost Saver. This 13 day tour takes you through some of the most stunning scenery and cities throughout Europe, starting off in London where I met the group of my expert travel director for the tour, Arati, and we made our way to Amsterdam for the afternoon. So we have just arrived in Amsterdam and what better way is there to explore the city than a canal tour. The canal tour took us through to the evening, after which we had the opportunity to explore the city ourselves. The following morning we rode on the coach through the beautiful Dutch countryside where we made it to our first stop of the day, Edam. So we have a full day in the Netherlands today, um, specifically in Amsterdam and around Edam. Now we have come here to Edam to see local cheese being made um, and clogs which are both very very traditional uh, to the Dutch people. Um, this is a local local family run business um, and they're teaching us how they make the cheese and carve the clogs and which is a really really cool insight into into what they do and just uh have to be comfortable and if there is a spot in the shoe that is nice just grab a little bit of sandpaper sandpaper it out and it should be fine Having the opportunity to experience local traditions offered a great balance between that and the modern culture we'd experienced in the city the day before. Further adding to this was one of the few remaining traditional Dutch windmills we got a private tour by the owner of, which was only a short distance from our final stop, Volendam. <laughs> So we've just arrived in Volendam, which looks more like the Caribbean than the Netherlands. It's absolutely incredible. The water is crystal clear and I'm on a white sand beach. What is that about? Who knew that this was in the Netherlands? It's absolutely crazy. But we have just over an hour here to spend around this lovely, amazing looking fishing village. We're going to grab some traditional food, um, have a look around some of the shops and stuff here, um, and then we're going to head back into Amsterdam Centre later. Boom, just coming outside the Flying Dutchman. Apparently it's the best place to eat some seafood. So I've ordered a gastronomic delight. Check it out. Ooh. After finishing some of the most delicious seafood I've ever eaten, we headed back towards Amsterdam. We had even more free time in the afternoon in Amsterdam to see more of the city if we wanted. The next day, the group was in great spirits after we'd had our included breakfast as we made our way to Frankfurt for the night. But first up, Cologne. Down that main avenue on the right side of that store is where you'll find shops, restaurants and cafes. Use this opportunity to have something to eat. Uh, we will have another chance in two hours time when we go on the cruise, okay? A whirlwind stop in Cologne was followed by a very relaxed afternoon in the Rhine Valley. Wow, what an insanely beautiful place. We cruised down the serene Rhine River, taking in all the sights, where we disembarked in St. Goa, where Aditi had a surprise for us. Did you enjoy the cruise? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, lots Loved of photos. Oh, yes. Pinkish glow. Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> so we have just finished the most relaxing boat ride in the world along the Rhine Valley and now we are in St. Goa. Check it out. So as a special surprise for all of you, from myself, Alice and Cost Saver, we want you to sample a little local treat of ice vine. And you'll get to keep the little souvenir. So from Frankfurt today, we are on our way to Prague. Now we've arrived here in Nuremberg. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a bustling market city. Everyone is super nice. And um, there's loads of food stalls and markets all around um, if you're hungry. Um, and yeah, just some beautiful rivers as you can see behind me, some beautiful buildings. Um, we have about an hour and a half here and before we head uh, on to Prague, um, we have a lot of fun things planned in Prague over the next couple of days. Um, uh, but we're really glad we got to stop in the second largest city in Bavaria. So 
so what a beautiful evening here in Prague. We've just been dropped at the centre and we can just be able to see behind me. The guys are getting onto the boat for their river cruise for the evening and I'm going to have a lovely dinner cruising down at the centre of Prague on that amazing boat. How's the goulash? Oh, really? Very good. There we go. Pork it was delicious. The pork is good. Oh, and the pork it knuckle good. as well. It's good. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to take his word for it. I'm super, super stoked. Dumpling, pork knuckle, fried cheese, potato, you know, <laughs> and the crackling, nice, and sauerkraut. Coach, and we had our local specialists guide us around on a walking tour. It take, took us about, I think, about three hours. Um, and now we've got some free time uh, to explore the rest of the city. Uh, so, what do you recommend I do, Arati? Well, what I recommend you do is maybe we can visit the John Lennon Wall this morning uh, and just ride you know, maybe a few things on the wall, or a remnant of our visit in Prague. Uh, then you can work up an appetite and head towards this local butcher that makes the most amazing burgers fresh off the hot plate. And then I think by then we might have or might be keen for a little bit of a sweet, uh, or maybe a sweet tooth item. So maybe you can try a triddle nick uh, and fill it with some cream and strawberries. Okay, I'm sold on all of those things. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Again, it's an absolutely beautiful day, and now I'm just trying to organize a group photo. The group tour is not complete without a group photo to remember all your friends in years to come and the amazing experiences that you spent together. Regensburg was a very quaint town with tons of charm and character. It actually looked like somewhere from a Disney movie. So, we have just arrived in Munich. Check out this very, very Nice, clean, fancy room. Very excited about that. But I thought, just while I was waiting for the concierge service to bring up our suitcases for us, um, I've got a list here. Now, this list, um, as well as all the uh, extras that you get um, when you're on a crossover tour, like the city tours um, and all that kind of stuff, they also provide you with an optional extra list. Um, but this is just exclusive to the tour that we're on at the moment. Um, so it has optional extras in Amsterdam, Prague, Venice, Lucerne and Paris. There's some absolutely amazing ones that you can choose from. But you can choose to do as many or as little as you want. Um, and all the prices are there, um, and Aditi or your travel director are on any tour will explain to you in detail what each of them entails, um, so you can really choose whether you really want to do it or not. So uh, it's perfect, and uh, if there's something that you definitely know that you want to do, um, you can get on it and book it straight away and have the peace of mind that you are definitely doing that epic optional extra um, on that specific day of the tour that you want to do it. We arrived in Munich in the evening where we had some free time to explore the incredible architecture, tradition, relaxed vibes and most importantly food and drink at the famous Hofbräuhaus. House. So to cap off an amazing day around Munich, we have Bye, Iron Mass. Yes. Thank you, Rati, for training me around today. Oh, that was a hefty snap. <laughs> Dry 
arriving to Venice from Munich via Innsbruck and already after about 15 minutes there are just some incredible views there. I don't know if you can see really far in the background there but there are some mountains appearing and it looks amazing. Being able to explore such a unique part of the world, the Alps, where the mountains meet the towns and rivers in such a beautiful way was incredible. But it was soon time to head toward our final destination of the day, Venice. So from the amazing historic town of Munich in Germany through the mountains in Austria of Innsbruck, we are now here in Venice. We are about to head into Venice Old Town Centre via private water taxi. Hello. Captain LT. Hi. <laughs> Come on, taxi number three. <laughs> we are just about to pass under the famous Rialto Bridge and spin it around. Look at that. Now everyone knows. If anyone's seen any pictures of Venice, this is the bridge. We're gonna get packed by a few people as well. Yeah, Wait for all the people taking photos. Hi everyone. But check out the view underneath the bridge. Look at that. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now cruising down the heart of the Venice canals. I was going to ask the guys if they're enjoying it or not. We've had a few tears of joy, so I think the answer is a resounding yes. This place is absolutely magical. It is better than the postcards. You just look around and everything is just it's unbelievable. Well, all I can say is what an insane introduction to Venice. We've got off the coach, we've got an amazing private water taxi to the heart of Venice, then we have a gondola ride through the tiny little streets of Venice. Look at all the beautiful buildings, beautiful waterways and all the shops and stuff at sunset. And now just after sunset, we're getting a private water taxi back to the hotel um, to have a cooked dinner by a local Italian family. For our first little stop in Italy, it could not be more Italian. Everyone's had an amazing time and we've still got a full day in Venice tomorrow. You see the guys getting off the boat behind me. We have arrived in Guidecca, which is where um, they do some of the famous glass blowing um, the very refined art of glass blowing here uh, in Venice um, and we're going to get a little demonstration today and we're going to be able to see some of the incredible pieces that they produce here. A special thanks to Roberto, the owner of the factory, who let me film around when you're not actually supposed to, but he said it was okay for Aditi and Costa, which was perfect. We took another private water taxi from Quideca to St Mark's Square for some free time around Venice during the day with an optional extra bring a trip to Burano in the afternoon. So I'm in the heart of Burano at the moment. Everywhere you look, it's just bursting with insane colour. With its incredibly colourful traditional fishing houses, its famous 17th century leaning bell tower, and much more chilled vibe in the centre of Venice, for me, Burano was a must-do optional extra. So on our last night in Venice, I made it to the Rialto Bridge for sunset, just about. The sun is sitting behind me and I'm going to chill at the top and watch the amazing views for a while. Venice certainly pulled out all the stops for us on our last night in Italy. And when we thought we'd seen the most beautiful destinations in Europe, we arrived in Switzerland the next day and, well, Off we go. Now we've got a pretty ridiculous view right now. Let's just spin it around. We've got the uh, other guys going behind us, but I'm facing backwards. So just to give you an idea. Boom. Check that out. Wow. Hitting the ground running in Switzerland, we had the opportunity to hop on an optional extra and take a stunning horse and carriage ride through the breathtaking Swiss Alps. We even stopped and had some food and wine at a local farmhouse to take in the scenery. Optional extra number two for Switzerland came the following morning and again for me it was a certain must do. So we are on top of Mount Stanzerhorn 
It's so quiet and peaceful up here. Everyone is enjoying taking pictures on all the lookouts around here. What an amazing way to start the morning at the top of a mountain. Hi everyone, we've just come off our optional experience up Mount Stanzihorn and waiting for us down the bottom was our wonderful driver Alice and he drove us to a little village called Stanstad where our captain Stefan was waiting for us to cruise us along Lake Lucerne on our very own private boat. In the backdrop we have uh, Mount Pilatus and now we are heading to the historical centre of Lucerne where we're going to have a cheese fondue lunch. Sounds delicious to me, how about you? Mm, my mouth is watering just you talking about that. Alright, let's go get some fondue. Yes. <laughs> So, good afternoon. First check-in of the day in our last city of the tour, sadly. Oh. We've left Switzerland, we left Lucerne this morning. Uh, we've driven through the beautiful Swiss Alps, through the lovely French countryside, and now we've arrived here in Paris in the afternoon. So we made it into the centre of Paris. It is currently sunset. We've been dropped off by the coach on the Chandelier outside. Dun, 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 dun. The Arc de Triomphe. At sunset, it looks absolutely amazing. Check it out! Yay, there we go. In the evening, after some free time around the Arc du Triomphe, we hopped on an evening boat tour through the heart of Paris on the Seine River, finishing up at Le Eiffel Tower, which put on a bit of a show for us. to start the morning on our last day the Eiffel Tower at sunrise I really hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as I love the tour I tried to give you a small insight into the awesome experiences there are to be had with Tour Radar and Crossover I put some links to the tour in the description below so be sure to check it out Alternatively, be sure to check out the Tour Radar website for even more travel inspiration. Don't fear, I've got plenty more adventures in the pipeline, so be sure to subscribe to the Tour Radar YouTube channel. There's some extra wonderlust.